a lot of YouTube vitamins means your favorite C and this is my top 10 tiles from last week. What up YouTube, how the devil are it's wobbly on time. Um, these are my top 10 tiles from last week, so I think this is from the crap of math. 18 to the 24th is it? Something like that. So not Monday to now, the week before. Um, not the greatest week. I'll go through all the figures and that with you in a bit. Um, but, yeah, still, alright. Um, had a total of 50 items sold in the in a week, so not fantastic. Um, cash in my pocket was 254.74, and 138.99. I know that was profit. Um, it was a week with bids, I think. Where quite a few bids ended. Um, yeah, so I'll go through it. Most of it's clothing. Um, yeah. I, I, sometimes I do wonder why I do these top tens, but I do like looking back and seeing what what's sold, and you know, it's always a thing of looking back, looking back and analysing, guys. You know what I mean? But yeah, I hope um, your weekend's been alright. But right, in, we'll, we'll be going to in at number ten is these ladies' joy. Div I'm not even going to try and pretend to pronounce that um, denim shorts. I uh, would have got these off like a pound rack at a charity shop or something like that. Ooh, sorry. Would have got these off a pound rack at a charity shop. Yeah, they only cost me a quid. Um, so these sold for thirteen ninety nine. So they sold for the asking price. Um, got seven sixty after fees and six sixty in profit. So yeah, it, we're not talking about big numbers and a lot of these. This week, guys, but yeah, um, ladies, joy de vivi. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce in at number two, in at number nine. Um, this England Umbro home football shirt from 2012 2013, size 38. Uh, this was from a two pound rack in Cancer Research. You don't normally find the football tops on those racks, normally it's really cheap, but well, you know, it's normally. Crap stuff that you get on those two pound racks, but yeah, I found this this one on there. Um, so yeah, this cost me two quid. Um, I think I took a best offer of twelve on this. Um, it was nine fifty one, nine fifty one after fees and seven fifty one profit. Um, I always pick up the English shirts, always pick up the football shirts. I've been looking for, like, see if there is like a wholesaler for football shirts and stuff like that. I wouldn't mind getting into that. I do like, I, I, I like having, I like having a look on my eBay store and going, no way, I've got like England tops from 20, 2007 to 2016. I don't know, I'm a nerd. But yeah, number nine is this England top from 2012 to 2013. In at number eight. Um, this 17 inch Simpsons Shark Boy Bart Simpson um, plush. Add him for a while. How much did he cost? He cost one ninety nine. 99 um, This was difficult. This was hard to photograph. I find that with plushies. Um, taking photos of plushies is so hard. I've got one at the minute that's on my listings, which is annoying me. Like a, I think it's. I can't even think. It's a bear off. A bear off. Um, Muppets, and all I've got is his face as the photo, an upside down photo of his face is my main photo because you just can't get a good picture of him. I need to research a best way to take photos of plushies, but it's really difficult. Like with this photo here, you can't see his face, it's just really, really difficult to get a good shot of him. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's really difficult to get a good shot of him. So, yeah, this cost me 1.99. Um, it sold for fifteen ninety nine. So, how does that work? It sold for fifteen ninety nine. That can't be right. Yes, it can. So it sold for the asking price, which is good. Uh, yeah, sold for fifteen ninety nine with postage. Uh, nine fifty one after fees, and nine fifty two profit. So yeah, that's it like that. I didn't think I got full price for that, but I did. 
Um, next is this Paul Berman, oh, sorry about that, Paul Berman Corduroy um, Blazer. Uh, I think this was one of the days where I wasn't having a lot of sales, so I took a best offer on this one. Um, had it originally on for twenty four ninety nine, as you can see, um, and it was nineteen with postage, so I took fifteen. So I took fifteen quid, eleven eighty seven after fees and postage and stuff, and a profit of seven pound eighty four because I paid four quid. But yeah, um, I always pick up. I wouldn't normally pick up Paul Berman. I, um, it's more to do with the fact it's a corduroy blazer that I picked it up. I'll, anything corduroy I'll pick up because it's normally, I don't know, normally no matter the brand it goes for right money if it's corduroy. Um, right, in at number blah, 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 six, uh, another M&S blazer. Um, God, the photos look terrible when they haven't when they're not separated into three. Uh, M&S Italian Fine Cotton Blazer, size 46L. Um, this cost me three, sold for 20, so it went for 16. Um, 11.18 after fees and £8.18 profit. So yeah. In at number five, um, this Adwardian Crystal Glass Cut 8 inch decanter. Um, yeah, this is what. There was a charity shop in Wensfield near me um, that was kind of so they, they must have had a load of glassware off um, this one person because they had a load. Um, they were all, they were selling it for like forty nine p a pound stuff like that. I picked up a few bits over the weeks and stopped because it wasn't really selling. Uh, but yeah, this cost me a pound. I think it was. Yeah, it cost me a pound. Um, it went for seventeen ninety nine. So, what's that? So, I think someone must have offered me 13 No, no, no. he went for 17 99 because of the £6 postage on it. So, 11 99 this went for. Uh, cost me a pound, bit of a pain in the arse to pack. But, I'm quite, I'd say I'm, I'm a pretty much a daddy at packing these kind of glassware things down. But yeah, this cost me a pound, went for £17.99 with £6 postage, £9.23 after fees and £8.23 profit. In at number four. Oh god, I've had this for a while. Um, WWE 2007 Authentic Scale um, Wrestling Ring Parts. Um, it had a few bits missing. This come with like a bundle of wrestling stuff that I got from a car boot. Um, this this ring was pretty unique. To be fair, it, it's a it was a bigger ring. It's not normally the size you'd have with the figures that they sell. I'm not sure if it was a special edition or it was for a certain set of figures, but it was a pretty big ring. Um, but yeah, the, this has sold a few times and people just haven't paid. It's had so many watches over it over the years. Like, I think it might have ended with like twenty odd watches. Um, but yeah, it cost me two pound fifty. Went for twenty ninety nine with six pound postage. So yeah, somebody paid the full asking price of fourteen ninety nine. Um, Eleven pound eighty one after fees and stuff, and made a profit of nine pound thirty one. So yeah, I was glad to see the back of that. Pay it again, paying the Oyster pack. In at number three. In at number three, it's a fourteen ninety nine. Um, Fourteen ninety nine um sale. Oof. Um J J J Jack and Jones Comfort Mike. I'm just reading the scraggy writing that I've written down the sheet of paper. Um Jack and Jones Comfort Mike um denim jeans. These weren't on for a long for a long time actually. Uh they went for the asking price, so I'm probably undersold them. They cost me two quid. Um went for eighteen ninety nine with four pound postage. £13 after fees and stuff with £11 profit. In at number two, um, I think I had one of these last week. Um, I think this one sold for the asking price, yeah. I think I sold one the week previous for 16 quid. Um, Republic of Ireland 2016 2018 football shirt. Um, I picked up a couple of these from a car boot, it cost me three quid each. Um, 
yeah, someone's took it for the asking price. So twenty three ninety nine with four pound postage, sixteen pound forty after fees and stuff, with a profit of thirteen pound forty. So yeah, no more Irish football shirts left in the shed. And in at number one, uh, these Riker black leather biker trousers. Um, it says forty nine ninety nine on there, but they didn't sell for forty nine ninety nine. Um, again, this was. I kind of have a kind of rule of thumb. Uh, I've had it today where I haven't had only had one sale today. Um, if somebody sends me an offer for, should I be saying this on my video? You ain't gonna find any deals on my store, to be fair. Um, but if somebody sends me an offer halfway through the day and I haven't had um, any sales, so anything after a certain time, um, I'll take anything over half price so it just to get rid and get a sale um but yeah these cost me a tenner they ended up going for 36 um so with six pound postage so i took 30 quid for these they'd been on my listing for a long ass time um 23.55 after fees and postage and stuff like that and made a profit of 13.55 so yeah not that bad, not that bad. Um, there's been worse. But yeah, uh, this week, well, the week coming has been a better week. Well, the week, I'm on Sunday now, you know what I mean? Monday to Sunday this week has been better than this week that I'm showing you now. Um, I just haven't got, I've been putting off doing this video, <laughs> I'll be honest. Sometimes I do these top ten and I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered. Writing down shit. Writing down stuff and getting it all set up it's a pain in the ass um but yeah these are my top 10 sales from the week what is it is it from the 18th to the 24th or something like that i can't remember but for now thank you very much for watching sorry i have to be quiet the kids are in bed another problem with doing these videos is i i do not have the time to do this video because i can only do it when the kids are in bed and then I've got to be really quiet so I don't wake up the kids. It's a nightmare. Yeah, I'm complaining that much. This might be the last top ten I ever do. <laughs> Who knows? But for now, peace out. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.